Hey, what's up, guys? It's a Saints fan. Welcome back to another episode of Fashion Friday. Now, I do want to say there is going to be no gameplay in this video because I did just take a bunch of people's suggestions on Twitter, and I'm going to be sharing that. However, there are 15 of them. That's both male and female, and there are some really awesome female outfits. So especially if you have a female character, you might get some really great ideas from this episode. But I wanted to touch on something, and the reason that I'm doing this and not actually showing you guys gameplay is for two reasons. One, I'm actually heading out to the beach. Like, when you see this, I'll probably be on the beach relaxing. <laughs> and the other reason is that when I was going to record the gameplay for these outfits and for some outfits that you guys submitted on the YouTube video, I realized, when did Rockstar patch the scarf and the body armor? Like, I can't equip the scarf and the body armor at the same time. I don't know. I asked on Twitter, and apparently this has been going on, or this has uh, been a problem for a few weeks now, but I didn't realize this until now. And my outfits that contained a scarf and body armor were all deleted. Like, the motocross outfit that I had, which was amazing, it's gone now. And I don't, I don't know why. I mean, if anybody can, like, clarify that... In the comment section let me know one is it happening to you like can you actually equip a scarf with body armor or did rockstar actually patch that like i don't know what to do here it's really unfortunate man because i had some really awesome outfits that i wanted to share with you guys but i can't because you can't wear a damn scarf with the body armor i i just i don't understand rockstar's logic ever so if anyone knows about that let me know in the comments all right getting into the outfits and some of these unfortunately uh, they're not the best quality in, in terms of picture, but you can, you know, for the most part, see what they look like. And obviously all of them have the pieces you need to make it. So if you're curious and want to see it for yourself, then you can make it. So the first one, and these are in no particular order. I'm just going to go down the list. The first one from Mr. Donuts is kind of like a DayZ character, it looks like. You got the uh, the gas mask on there with some really cool clothing options, like the ripped jeans. That looks really cool. Obviously, everything else is on the left there. I'm pretty sure this is a female outfit, but if you wanted to do something similar for males, that definitely looks really cool. The next outfit up is from James, and this one is the paratrooper. There's a few different variants, I guess, of it. I mean, you can see from the picture as is, it looks really cool. It's got a, a bunch of different colors going on, and they all kind of fit together, which I like. But you can see in his, like, instructions, there's a, there's a few variants. He has variant 1, variant 2. I'll actually show the picture that I'm assuming he's basing it off of here. It definitely looks really great. And I love the flight tube with the gas mask and the helmet. It looks, it looks awesome, especially for a paratrooper. Next up, these two outfits are from Abel, and these are female outfits. He didn't actually give what you needed, but they're fairly simple. I thought they were pretty interesting looking. So this one is all blacked out with the uh, the chemical gas mask honestly that chemical gas mask goes great with anything in my opinion and then the next one is sort of a heavy version of some sort of military uh clothing option here you can see you got the vest you got the heist pants on with the flight tube pretty cool if you wanted something along those lines now these next outfits are from chloe and these are awesome at least if you watch superhero shows like if you're like me i, I love tv shows and especially the comic book shows agents of shield agent carter arrow well at least seasons one and two the last couple seasons have been pretty crap but i watch all of them the flash name it i watch them and she made some really awesome outfits for those shows so the first one is agent carter or peggy carter you can see everything on the left and honestly this one looks really cool like i don't know if you guys have watched the show season one was really good season two i didn't really like as much as season one but this outfit is is definitely kind of similar to the one she wears sometimes in the show Moving to the next one, this one's really cool. This one is Jessica Jones, which again is a great show on Netflix if you guys haven't watched it. Everything is on the left there. And again, she is pretty spot on with the clothing. The third one she submitted isn't actually a superhero one, but I thought it was pretty cool. This one is the flight attendant. And you can see it definitely does look like a flight attendant, especially she's got the airplane in the back there. This outfit would probably be best used for like role playing situations. And I think that could be really fun. And then the last one she submitted is the Black Canary from Arrow. And there's actually two versions of this one. There's one she submitted and there's one someone else submitted. But you can see this is her version. Looks pretty cool. Although personally, 
I, I actually like this next version from Jack here. Either way though, they both look great. And like, if you like the character, Black Canary is pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Even if you watch like some of the animated cartoons for like the Justice League and all that, she's a really awesome character. And if you wanted to make her in GTA, there you go. Next outfit we have is from Cafe Barton. Don't know if I said your name there right, but this one he says, or she says no name. But it looks pretty cool. It's like a gangster uh, female outfit. You can see the yellow face bandana. I like how it goes with the baseball shirt. And then the uh, the like the ripped pants looks really cool. The next one is from JT. And this one is the Death Mariachi. This is an interesting one. You know, it might not be a go-to outfit. It looks nice and clean. And ultimately, like, that's, that's kind of what I like about outfits that people submit. I like when they're clean looking. The clothes match. I like how we use the mask and the cowboy hat and even the orange little bow tie there. Moving on, we have a few left and this one is from Jasmine. I don't know if there's a name for this one, but again, it's, it's sort of another military one. We got the tan combat top with the tan team pants and then the gray for the accessories, the body armor and the bulletproof helmet. Everything else you can see there looks pretty cool. If you wanted something that was white and gray instead of black and gray, you might want to choose that one. And then finally get into the last three outfits all from Alan. These are, I guess, battlefield inspired outfits. So the first one is the engineer. And unfortunately, again, the picture quality isn't the best, but you can see everything is on the left of the screen there. Uh, this one's the engineer. Pretty cool. And honestly, if you do play battlefield, I could definitely see how that one uh, could be an engineer. The next one is the support and in the so in battlefield, the support. I don't know. I kind of feel like they're bigger characters or they have bigger bodies or, or more clothes on. And that's definitely what this one looks like. And then last but not least is the recon. And obviously this one definitely looks like a recon. You got the hooded ski mask, the black wraparounds and the pilot headset uh, along with all the clothing. And I think that turns out to be a really well-made outfit. But that is it with this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, 15 outfits. Hopefully you enjoyed them and liked them. Next week, we'll be back to normal. But I, I just don't know what to do about the whole scarf and uh, body armor situation. Because, like, some of the really awesome outfits, especially military ones, you need the scarf to make it look good. And now that we can't do that, I mean, what, what should I do going forward? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you do have an outfit you want to submit for next week's episode, you can let me know in the comments or you can tweet it at me like all these people did and maybe you'll be in a future episode. But see you guys in the next one. Drop a like, subscribe. As always, I'm out. Peace.